Artificial sweeteners cause obesity. Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Welcome back to my blog. Now, I always thought the funniest thing was seeing a very large person buy a Big Mac, large fries, and top it off with a Diet Coke. Now, I also found it peculiar that I rarely saw thin people drinking diet sodas. So I began to wonder, you know, could there be a link between drinking diet sodas or diet drinks uh, or using artificial sweeteners and obesity? Well, as I began to explore this notion, I came upon a number of different research findings that pointed to this very phenomena. First, our current obesity epidemic has tracked perfectly in time with the introduction of large amounts of artificial sweeteners into our food supply. And though while we can't say that artificial sweeteners cause obesity from this association over time, it certainly makes us wonder. Next, there's a whole body of research that indicates that just the thought or smell of food initiates a whole set of hormonal and physiologic responses that get the body ready for food. Now, this is all familiar to us from the Pavlov's dog experiment, you know, where Pavlov trained dogs to salivate by associating the ringing of a bell, ringing of a bell with the presentation of food. He trained the dogs to salivate in anticipation of the food simply by ringing the bell without any food at all. So think of diet sodas and artificial sweeteners are like ringing the bell for your physiology. But why is that bad? And, and why is it even worse to ring the bell with the artificial sweeteners but then not provide any sugar along with the bell. What happens to the body? Well, our brains know how to get our bodies ready for food. It's called the cephalic, for head, the cephalic phase reflex. The brain is getting ready for food even before your fork or your cup crosses your lips. Now, this allows you to prepare and anticipate for the arrival of nutrients in your intestinal tract. It improves the efficiency of how your nutrients are absorbed and it minimizes the degree to which food will disturb your natural hormonal balance and create weight gain. So in a way, your body is already preparing to regulate your energy balance and metabolism and your weight and calorie burning and many other things just by thinking about food. So here comes the artificial sweetener kick. Any sweet taste will signal your body that calories are on the way and trigger a whole set of hormonal and metabolic responses to get ready for those calories. So when you trick your body and put in non-nutritive or non-caloric sweeteners like aspartame, sulfame, saccharin, sucralose, or even natural sweeteners like stevia, the body gets confused. But so what, so what if your body gets confused? Nothing happens. Who cares? Unfortunately, your body cares. And an exciting new research study in the journal Behavioral Neuroscience called The Role for Sweet Taste has, has shown conclusively that using artificial sweeteners does not only prevent weight gain, but it induces a whole set of physiological and hormonal responses that actually make you gain weight. Okay, the research proved this by giving two different groups of rats some yogurt. One was sweetened with sugar, and the other was sweetened with saccharin. Now they found that three major things happen over a very short period of time in these rats fed with yogurt, uh, sweetened with sugar, compared with artificial sweeteners. First, they found that the total food in those who had the artificial sweeteners eaten over 14 days dramatically increased, meaning that the artificial sweeteners stimulated their appetite and made them eat more. Second, they gained a lot more weight and their body fat increased significantly. And third, very concerning to me, was the change in core body temperature of the rats fed the artificial sweeteners their core body temperature decreased, meaning their metabolism slowed down. So not only did the rats eat more, gain more weight, and have more body fat, but they actually also lowered their core body temperature and slowed their metabolism. And I, as I've said many times before, all calories are not created equal. And the most astounding finding in this study was that even though the rats who ate uh, who ate the saccharin sweetened yogurt, ate less calories overall than the rats that ate the sugar sweetened yogurt. The rats that ate the artificially sweetened yogurt, which actually had less calories, gained more weight and body fat than the rats eating a higher calorie version of the same food. Wow, how does that make sense? Well, it makes sense because we're screwing up our body's normal hormonal signals. So we're in big trouble because these findings turn on its head the conventional view that people will consume less calories 
by drinking artificially sweetened drinks or eating artificially sweetened foods. This is proven now not to be true. So despite their name, these are not diet drinks. They are actually weight gain drinks. The number of Americans that consume products that contain sugar-free sweeteners grew from 70 million in 1987 to 160 million in 2000. There are enormous numbers of low-calorie, quote, health-conscious foods and diet soft drinks containing artificial sweeteners. At the same time, there's been an increase in artificial sweeteners. The increase of obesity in the United States has gone from 15% to 30% across all age groups, ethnic groups, and social strata in the country. And the increase in overweight people has gone from 30% to over 65% of the population. And the fastest growing of these are obese children. So the bottom line is stay away from artificial sweeteners, including aspartame, a sulfame, sucralose, sugar alcohol, such as malitol, xylitol, and anything that ends with all, and even artificial natural sweeteners like stevia. So I recommend not confusing your body, and if you have a desire for something sweet, have a little sugar, but stay away from those invented fake foods. Eating a diet based on whole foods that has a low glycemic load that's rich in phytonutrients that contains a few real sweet treats once in a while is better than the alternative and confusing your metabolism and tricking your body with artificial sweeteners, which, which leads to wide-scale metabolic rebellion and obesity. So put that teaspoon of sugar in your tea and enjoy.